In this video, I'm just going to show you the curvature tool. But in particular, I'm going to show it as a straight line feature. Now, of course, in, with the pen tool, you've got the pen tool, which is very similar. Just click there, you can just go across, create a basic straight line, well, straight lines going from there. But now I'm just going to a very similar tool, but this is the new one. Just get rid of that. And curvature tool. You can hold down the Alt key as you type, so uh, click. So just hold the Alt and then it's a straight line as well. Just basically just go across. You can do the similar sort of thing, create a sort of just gonna go do a few of them anyway, just quickly go across. Straight line. There's a few little quirks in this that I've found, I must admit. So right, once I finish that, I'm just gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna put it down to back and stroke of so you can see it, six points. Okay. Now, just go to that tool again, and you'll see what happens. Is I've done a straight line, I've said I click there and click there, but mysteriously, it seems to add additional points. Now, quick way around that is just go to the point and delete. And just delete, just go there, delete, just press delete, and there's another one there. Is that delete, delete, and there's mysteriously one there as well. So you can, oh, there's one there. So it just adds them for some weird reason. I do not know why, since it's basically a straight line, why is it adding additional points? Anyway, now that's all been cleared out. Maybe there's an even quicker way of doing it, I don't know. But now if you want to actually turn them into curves. Now, one thing I've found that when you're actually creating curves in this, it actually has a tendency <laughs> with a lot of practice, I know certain people can get it so it can actually flow very easily, but it certainly is great for creating curves. But sometimes they can be a bit unless you're exact, very, very hard to control. Great, great effects, but okay. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna double click that, turn it into a curve. Double click that to turn it in curve. Double click that to turn it in curve. Double click, turn. So I'm just gonna go right across, of course, all the way. Every one of those, just double click them to turn them into a smooth point instead of a curve corner point and turn that and double click there and there okay don't go to the last one because what it'll try and do is it forms goes back to the back to the start which is not maybe what you want so if you want to use it as an open path there you have it it's actually quite maybe you know I've actually found it quite tricky to actually create something similar to that just by going by smooth I mean just go to there and I'm just gonna go around turn that around and then you think well maybe there and turn there and it's not so easy so actually I find it's possibly quite easy to actually just go start with straight lines and then just quickly click through and double click through and then create a sort of curved design that way it's a possible way of doing using the curvature tool which maybe it wasn't the way they actually envisaged but uh, I hope you found this quick uh, run through of uh, creating a sort of uh, curved zigzag design of interest